When it enters the body, it migrates throughout almost every one of your systems and shuts down the organs attached to each one of them, including the kidneys, the liver, the heart, the lungs. For one Jacksonville Sheriff's officer, hurricane season is a reminder not of what he lost, but what he's overcome. Officer Dennis Godfrey's life changed forever when instead of calling it a day during Hurricane Matthew, he went to help somebody else. Shelby Danielson has his story all new tonight. We were just getting ready to be released for the day because it was getting too dangerous to be out in the elements. You've heard it before. When the going gets tough. A friend of mine who also lives in Atlantic Beach asked me to just check his house to make sure it was still there. The tough get going. Officer Dennis Godfrey braved through Hurricane Matthew's intense wind and rain to help out his friend. As I got out of the police car, a gust of wind grabbed the driver's door and slammed it on my right shin. The freak accident left a gash in his leg. You know, the water in Atlantic Beach when I was out in it that day was water that was coming up from sewers. After wading through floodwaters and helping with cleanup efforts after they receded, he went on with his life. Jerry would look at it and say, you really need to get some attention. And me being a guy, I didn't listen. His wife worried about that cut, though, especially as it started to throb about a week later and showed no signs of healing. In septic shock, I'd woken up with just tremendous pain like I don't think I've ever experienced before. My leg felt like somebody had already cut it off. It was about two weeks since that car door slammed on his shin, but that gash was suddenly the root of his agony. At the hospital, he was in and out of consciousness. He finally came to a few days later. I woke up and I, I didn't know what had taken place. I could feel all ten toes tapping on that footboard because it's called phantom sensation is what it amounts to. After multiple surgeries, doctors had already taken his leg. I was feeling just a little bit sorry for myself, thinking, hmm, I'm not going to be able to be a police officer again, can't ride a bike, go fishing, can't do this, can't do that. So he looked at me and said, essentially, get over yourself because you're going to be up and running before you know it. And with that, he was off to work, showing no signs of slowing down. I've never looked back, and I've considered the fact that God saved me and kept me here on this earth after I died twice in the hospital, that there's a, a, a purpose, a greater purpose than me just living. He's now mentoring other amputees. He's also back at work in the JSO detective unit, and he's quickly getting back to that active lifestyle he knew so well. It's a, uh, got a pressurized pump on it. It's called a vacuum system that maintains constant pressure on the limb so that it can't fall off because that was a drawback. Godfrey says it's all about moving forward. There's no time to feel down when you're surrounded by so many people to lift you up. My faith in, in God has uh, made everything I think a lot easier than I would have ever anticipated. The other big factor in this whole process has been the strength of my wife, Sherry. I've got such a wonderful, loving wife who essentially brought me through this. Shelby Danielson, First Coast News, on your side. What a brave will to adapt. Well, Officer Godfrey received the Purple Heart from Sheriff Williams. He says he loves being back, to, back at work and can't wait to finally return to that fishing he says he loves to do this Monday, something he's been working toward in his recovery.